Okay, so this is everything that I need to install my Starlink dish on my house. A lot of this stuff came with the package. So the actual dish here, the cable, the router, and the power cable for the router as well, all came as part of the package. But these two items are sold separately. They're different bits of mounting hardware. And then the ethernet adapter as well is sold separately. This is the mounting solution that I went with. This is the flashing mount kit sold by Starlink. And this is the pivot mount also sold by Starlink. So what's gonna happen is that this is gonna get screwed down first. This actually comes off and you can see where the holes are here. They line up with this. This is gonna get bolted on like so. And then this gets bolted in the side here and you can adjust the angle on this to match the angle of your roof so that your Starling dish is sticking straight up. So then you have your dish and the cable that they provide here just gets plugged right in to this slot. So if you can see the profile on this and it's got a few little seals on it, this just slides right up in here. And then this really just pops right into the mount like that. Now here's the issue. This thing is super loose, like really, really loose and sloppy. And really the solution is that you just have to drill through both walls and bolt something here just to set it in place, which is really annoying because I spent money on this so that I wouldn't have to do any kind of custom shit. But this is gonna need to get some sort of through bolt to stop this play because this is gonna go nuts in the wind. Then you're gonna run your cable inside your house to your rotor. And you see the other end of the cable here is gonna plug in the bottom like that. There's also a power cable. This power cable plugs in like so. And you can see there's this little cutout here. So this will sit flat and these cables are gonna stick out the back. So if you don't just wanna use the Wi-Fi with the router that they provide you and you wanna connect it to ethernet, you gotta buy this ethernet adapter separately. The way this works is that instead of plugging the cord directly into the router, you're gonna plug it into here. So this comes from your Starlink dish and it plugs into here. And then this will go into the router. And then this unit has a port for ethernet right here. Yes, that is solid. That is solid. That's not going anywhere. Well, we're done. So this thing, I put the set screw in and it's stable, like I mentioned. It's already oriented itself and it's given me fast internet inside right now, which is sick. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the Starlink app and I'm just gonna let it run for a little bit and it'll show if it's connected or if it loses connection and you guys can get a bit of a sense for how often that happens while I give a bit of a rundown on my take on the performance improvements or lack of improvement over the past couple months. So I'm gonna open the app up and you can see right now it's online, so that's good. And I'll just let it sit there for a little bit. So initially when we got Starlink up here, obviously everyone was seeing the issues that I outlined in my previous video. And that was consistent connectivity issues, 
Um, the app was showing that it was obstructed. There was something that was causing us to, to have a dropped signal, sometimes multiple times a minute, sometimes every few minutes. Um, that was the situation when people first started getting Starlink. Now, we're a few months later, and in my personal opinion, it has improved substantially. However, as you're gonna see right now, it's not as good. And it's, it's maybe even worse than it was a few months ago because what, it, what is happening is that as it improves, it's taking two steps forward, one step back, two steps forward, three steps back. You know, it's very, very inconsistent in the level of improvement. And some days it's just, it totally shits the bed. Some weeks it's bad, like right around the holidays, it was bad consistently for like four or five days. We were seeing consistent outages. And then other times it's fantastic. Other times you can have a video call with no interruption whatsoever, no loss of signal, and it's fantastic. So I'm just telling you that in my personal opinion, what I have observed is that it has improved, but you're not gonna see that reflected today. And you gotta be aware that it's very inconsistent. However, as I've been talking and I've been watching, it has dropped signal, so that's promising. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm gonna go into the app and I'm gonna show you a few things. So in the stats here, um, you can see the outages. This is probably gonna look pretty familiar for you watch my last video. We're getting pretty consistent outages. If you go back here, you can see the total obstructed time. Whoops, total obstructed time here. Obstructed almost 15 minutes in the past 12 hours to almost three minutes, no signal received, over six minutes, network issue. So as was the case originally, it's not a substantial amount of time. It's just the fact that this happens frequently that's gonna interrupt your video calling, it's gonna interrupt your gaming, and it's gonna interrupt you know, if you're browsing a website like Reddit where you're opening up new links all the time. Um, I will run a speed test here. So we can run a speed test. Okay, so this is substantially slower already, 49 megabits per second. This is substantially slower than what I typically see. Um, it looks like, yeah, four and a half megabits per second upload. This is substantially slower. So I'm gonna try it again in a few minutes and see what's different. Okay, if we run it again, 113 megabits per second down, 13 megabits per second up substantial improvement. This is much more typical. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, it's having many of the same issues. It's not having them to the same extent. And again, I apologize. You're, you're kind of going to have to take my word on that because right now it's in a period where it's bad again. But we are seeing some improvements, which is positive. I will though just give you a sense of living with it with these issues for one month now. So I don't game too much, I do stream, I do use it for just browsing the internet, and then big downloads. So that is my use case. Obviously it's gonna be different for different people, but using it for those things, it has been fantastic. It's really, really been good. The only time I've disconnected, say my phone from the Wi-Fi to use my data instead, is if I'm on a video call, say with my family, and it just is cutting out a little bit too much, and it gets annoying. Everything else is fantastic. The speeds are unbelievable. Upload download speed is just so much better than what I'm used to. It's really, really good. As far as streaming, even though you're seeing some of those outages be 10, 15 plus seconds, I have never had an issue with streaming whatsoever. It has never interrupted any sort of media that I'm streaming even once. And I, I watch stuff on high quality, right? Like I'll watch YouTube videos in 4K, whatever and it is fast enough that it buffers ahead of where any, any of those even longer interruptions are gonna cause your media to pause. So in general, you know, it's working really, really well for me. I'm looking forward to continuing to use it. Any kind of improvements now going forward with these little connectivity issues, that's just gonna be a bonus. If you're gaming, if you're video calling more often, say you're working from home, it's gonna be up to you whether or not these outages are kind of gonna break it for you. I'll leave that for you to decide, but for me, it has made a big difference in the way that I use the internet up here, just by virtue of the speed, and overall, I'm really happy with the product, and I'm gonna definitely continue to use it as my main source of internet up here in the Arctic. I may do a video again in a few months if there's any major changes in the service and the connectivity issues, if they go away or if maybe they get worse, but until then, I'm gonna to continue to enjoy it, and we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.